Yo, what is up, guys? Trainer Joe here on the Daily Grind. Training at Excel Fitness. Just coming to talk to you guys. Uh, post up a video on cheat meals and cheat days uh, in general. Okay, so um, I'll be honest. I'm a cheater. I'm a bad man. I've cheated on many meals before, and uh, I don't think that the other meals are really happy about my cheating. Um, you know, I try to tell people not to cheat on uh, their meals, but it happens, it slides, you know, um, so I'm just coming clean about that, alright guys, I'm sorry, no, but in all honesty, um, <clears throat> I do cheat, uh, I have a cheat meal, um, sometimes I have a cheat day, it depends on what's going on in my training, if I've been training, you know, uh, balls to the wall for the, for a couple weeks, um, I'll have a cheat day, which is probably going to be like on a Saturday or a Sunday, and a cheat day is just a free for all if I can eat, you know, all those guilty pleasure meals, all day, whatever I want, um, and be totally fine with it. Uh, pretty much what it is actually though is, is instead of you know more of uh, my concern for my health, uh, nutritionally wise for a cheat uh, meal or day, it's more for my head. It's more psychologically. Just because if you're sitting there all day and you're planning out like your your meals and you gotta cook, you have to make time to cook, and uh, you know, you're like, oh my god, how's this food going to affect me? So you're like really bugging out about how the food is. And if you guys are um, people who prep your own food, you kind of know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? You're in the kitchen for a couple hours. You're making all these meals, putting it on all, all these Tupperware containers. It gets pretty taxing. So um, it's taxing, you know, on your body and more so on your head, I, I think, for me. So when, uh, when I know that that cheat meal or cheat day is coming up, I get like real excited and I'm really looking forward to it, and it actually makes me work a little bit harder knowing that I get to cheat that uh, meal or that day, so when that day comes, you know, I'm just like totally letting loose and eat whatever I want. Um, actually, last night, I had a cheat meal, and I went to Wegmans and bought a slice of cheesecake, and after I ate it, I just felt like fine, like, I was like, that's just what I needed, hit it right on the spot, so it's, it's something like that, you know what I mean, like, if you've been working really, really hard, you know, you want to take that psychological break from slaving in the uh, the kitchen and making all that food, you know, go to wherever your favorite place is, you know, if you like the burgers or you have a sweet tooth, go get some ice cream or chocolate, I'm a sweet tooth kind of guy, you know, I could care less about like going and getting this huge steak or something like that, I'd rather just pig out on some sweets or like a cheesecake, so um, that's what I'll go and do, but yeah, it's a huge mental, mental break, um, I mean, there's psychological benefits, like I said, uh, you're not going to be as stressed out, and uh, if you start to like plateau or you're starting to fatigue in your workouts, you know, maybe you just need a cheat day. It's as simple as that. Like, people like totally overlook that. Um, now, on the other hand, all right, you can't be the person who's going out, you know, picking out on sweets and eating junk food all the time and thinking that you can still get cheat days. No, like, you have to take it super seriously uh, when you're training or when you're dieting. Um, stay strict to your plan. And uh, when you're, you know, staying strict to it, then you have those cheat days. You know, and then you reward yourself. But uh, if you're someone who's like going out and picking out right away, I would say the first thing to do is just clean up your diet first, and then uh, then take steps from there. But uh, I'm talking to all you people who do the meal prep, and you know what it's like to have a really strict diet, and you kind of are like taking a mental hit on uh, you know being so prepared all the time. So yeah, have a cheat meal, have a cheat uh, day. I would say have a cheat day. You know, once every six weeks, five to six weeks. Cheat day or cheat meal can probably be like once a week. You know, like I said, I, I do it on the weekends. Uh, throughout the week, I'm pretty strict on my diet. So it helps with my work schedule too. Um, so, you know, play it in your schedule, see how it works out. And, uh, you know, go pig out every now and then. It's not a bad thing. It kind of resets the body. We talked about motivation a little bit earlier. Um, it motivates me, especially after I eat a piece of cheesecake, to be like, damn, now I need to go hit the gym. So, you guys know what I'm saying. All right. <clears throat> Happy Monday. Not nah, Monday suck. But anyway, we're looking forward to that Friday. And then uh, my birthday's in a little bit too, so I'm looking forward to that. So what motivates you? What are you looking forward to this week? Get after it. Later.